All right, I have two sheets of plywood with nice smooth surfaces. Okay, two sheets of plywood, sort of. Theoretically, this is a four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood. And now I'm gonna cut one foot strips. Three. It makes that one and a half feet in. This is gonna be so fun to do with the plywood. As as I can get the design good. Oh, so you did it like that, and then those two part, then that part connected really good. How many should I do? Climb up to the second floor and then back down. Second floor? Okay, um, do, do that then. Do what you were doing with your legs. One, two, three. I did. I did one. It'd be really nice if I could make this a mathematical curve of some kind. If it happens to be circular, that'd be spectacular. Okay, this scribbly stuff is what I drew from the kayak. This is a mathematical curve that I drew with some Lego pieces. And I think that's close enough. I'm gonna go with this. That means I measure this. I'll know how many theoretical feet I need to do when I do this. Okay, 48.5 centimeter radius. What's my conversion? Two centimeters to one foot. All right, so I got... 24.25 feet. All right, 24 and a quarter feet. I have a tape measure that's 26 feet, so I think I may not have to mathematically graph a circle. Okay, this is the correct curve for that circle. Yeah, there's no way I'm fitting this into two sheets of plywood. I'm going to finish this one anyway. One day, this piece has the same curve the next day, as the side. I saw yeah. none go. like it. This is the size of a guy. This would be a six foot tall person. Arr! Hmm. 
Pirates need serious shades. Do you think they really need to get in shade? Okay, this used two and a half sheets of plywood, which is okay because if it's 16 feet long, which is two full lengths of plywood long, the width is like two and a half feet, which is more, definitely more than it needs to be. Two feet is fine. Two feet's good, actually. I don't want it to be super wide. Yeah, two and a half feet is too wide. It's almost a meter. Um, so maybe if I... All right, let me... Let me see if I can fit all the pieces into oh. fake sheets of plywood. Music, music. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think this is it. Man, that's some good looking stuff. And I can make this with two sheets of plywood right up to the hole here, and I'll just have to finish this with some, I don't know, there might have been enough scraps to finish this actually. But if not, I can just use some other wood. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I use because it's just a blank for a mold anyway. So I'll finish it pretty much like this. But yeah, that's two sheets of plywood right there. I can barely get that. I think that is the final kayak. This hole has to be a little wider, but I'll, whatever, it's not a big thing. Everything else, totally excellent. Yeah, final kayak. Ah, oh, beauty. Nobody wrecked that car. Yeah, you guys don't wreck this one until I make one. Mm -hmm. This is your dining table. So I'm pretty sure I know how to draw all the pieces, but I, I want to check on this first. I might go spray paint it. Got some spray paint. Why spray paint? That'll just come off. What color should it be? Mm -hmm. Are you about to say pink, Bellatrix? Red. Uh, green. Green. Red. Green, red. Blue. Green, red, blue? Yeah. Rainbow. Rainbow. All right, my plan here is to make this out of plywood. Those two sheets I have, plus a little bit of extra wood for this part up here. And I have to remember to make this a little wider, but that's fine. And then get it sanded really nice once I get a, a really good wood kayak. Coat it with wax, a lot of wax. Then cover it with fiberglass. Like cover the whole bottom with fiberglass up to this seam here. Then remove that and do a bit of stuff to the seam so that when I put fiberglass on the top, that mold will fit into the other one. And then I can put fiberglass into the two molds in such a way that they'll fit, fit into each other. And I'll, I'll get into what I do at the seam later. Yeah, oh man, I think that looks great. You know what, before I forget how easy this is to make, there are three different types of pieces. These bottom pieces, which are just, they're just parallel strips twisted until it gets to the end, and then it's you know, cut at an angle. And then there's these spiky pieces, and the curve along here, and the curve along there, has a 17 foot radius. And then this top piece also has a 17 foot radius along here and along there. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's about all the information I need to do it. And remember, Jamie, you wrote down on this piece of paper some of the graft points on that 17 foot radius curve. So don't lose this piece of paper. Although, if you do, here, look at it. Uh, there you go.